Hello. Hello, hello. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Wild Mender. Uh, day four of playing the game, but it is day 14 in game. Uh, yesterday on stream, we had just perished right at the end, so our gear is elsewhere. We're going to have to go scoop it up at some point today. Um, but essentially, we need to upgrade our gear quite a bit. Uh, we tried taking on... Oopsie, that's not what I wanted. We tried taking on the next boss fight or the next clearing that we have to do for the main quest of uh, raising and helping the goddess of storms and wind survive. But unfortunately, uh, we perished because we just really weren't strong enough. We didn't have enough heals on us and we just frankly weren't ready. So today we're going to be getting ready. We're going to try to help the Goddess of Storm and finally get that complete and uh, see what she's going to teach us. And obviously, keep increasing our uh, our little oasis here as time goes on. If you guys are just joining us, click the sub button, hit the notification icon. Make sure it's set to always. So that way you're notified whenever the next live stream goes live. We're going to be live on Twitch.tv slash Parsley after this. We're doing a new thing called uh, Survival Sundays. So at 5 p.m. Central, every single Sunday, we're going to be hopping on Twitch. We're going to be playing survival games recommended by you guys. We're going to be watching all the new latest and greatest survival game trailers. And we're also going to be hosting a community server that's available to everybody for the time being on a survival game uh, that you guys want to play. And we're actually going to be going back and playing Reign of Kings. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And of course, those will be all made into videos and stuff throughout the week as well. So if you can't make it to the live stream, just keep an eye on the channel. And of course, have the notification icon set as per usual. So it's daytime. Daytime means we dig our river because we can't really go into the salt flats during the day. It just becomes atrocious. We have a couple scrolls. My chat's been screaming at me on the daily to read. I'm going to figure out what these are going to give to us. Um, and what we really need is if we go to our memories here, the biggest thing we need right now, I believe, is it arcane or is it spiritual? I believe. Maybe survival? Oh, it is arcane. Craft a sigil stone to defend. Craft an upgraded mirror or bottle with rare minerals. This is what we need. We need three memory points on the arcane, so when night comes around, we're going to hit an arcane and see if we can't find an arcane ghost somewhere. So that way we can get the upgraded mirror. And with the upgraded mirror, I'm assuming we'll be able to one-shot the demons that we were fighting yesterday that we were getting absolutely wrecked by, so. Yeah. Where are we? There we go. Yeah, there's another water source right here that I guess we could dig a, rigor, a river from. But at the moment, I kind of don't mind just increasing our current river. You know what I mean? And that bottle helps a lot. I'm assuming the bottle's just for, like, better heals and stuff. There we go. We have a lot of quests to do, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on the salt flats today. I know we have something to do with these trees here that we need to accomplish, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. We'll leave that for another day. I'm gonna try to flatten this out so we don't have to climb out of our river. Get it a little dug down. There we go. Alright, and this has given us so much more fertile soil to grow with. Um, I'm not going to do an acorn because we need those for TPs. Let's hit our scrolls real quick. See what those are all about. We have a couple of them stored up. So this guy, we have a brittle scroll, and we have a corrupt scroll. The reason why I wasn't reading these as soon as I got them is because I have massive debuffs, guys. We can't just hit them when we find them, when we screw ourselves over on our adventures. We need to do it when we have supplies around, or we screw ourselves over. I think I can eat these. Yes, I can. Okay, so read. Nice, that worked. Read that one. Delicate Soul, acquired two of five. Brittle Scroll. So we can't even read these for some reason, the brittle ones. It's not an option. Maybe they're bugged. Maybe we got to do it somewhere else. I don't know, but they're not currently available. So now we're just poisoned. Great. 
That's fine. Glebe is over here. Glebe's jumping around somewhere. Where's Glebe? I just heard him. Glebe's still vibing. He's right there. I want to find the sand shrew today, but again, the treat is on my dead person. I might start heading over there now, though. Because it, sh it might be nighttime by the time we get to our dead body. Although I'd like to be full HP. Do we have what we need to make some health pots before we leave is the question. What do we need for health pots? Let's check. Poultice. Oh, we do. Cool. Up a little health pots. I think I should be able to do an infusion. A couple of infusions so we can get rid of this poison before we leave. Infusions. There we go. And do we have any more of those pods? Uh, probably somewhere. There's one. There's a couple. Yeah, we can get a lot of poison pods and a, a lot of HP buffs for our next adventure. I believe they spoiled last time. Oh, we can't do any mushrooms. We could get more heals, though. Need more food and water to read the scrolls? Is that what it was? Gotcha. That kind of makes sense, right? So you wouldn't be able to just do it if you don't have what it's looking for. So let's apply that. Nice. Gonna apply this as well. There we go. So now we have no more poison. We're healing up. And now let's try hitting the scrolls, yeah? Seems like we get something if we hit every single one of the scrolls in the set or whatever. So that was all of our food. And all of our water. This is why we're not hitting the scrolls, chat. It's a pain in the bum. I mean, it's going to add up to something in the future, but right now it's annoying as heck. Drink that. Do we have anything else to eat? Nope. I can eat ancient amaranth, but I'm not gonna. Any of our cactuses grow? No. We have dry amaranth. That's good. We have an unlimited water supply, so... Maybe not unlimited, but... Not super limited. And we could eat these as well. We have one more for another poison pot if need be, but eh, it's fine for now. And eat. And eat. And drink, and then we're going to run. get some let's get some purple stacks before we go so we're all filled up grab all of our perp grab all the purple flurp you got some purple flurp for me dude thank you all right we're full purple flurp the sigils will gather the rest of it for us so i'm not too worried scoop this and then my body doesn't show up on the map there it is. So it's all the way over there. So we're just going to start here. It doesn't show up on the teleport map. It shows up when I press M. So we can heal the tree after we help the goddess of storms. We already healed the tree once, but after we free her from the salt flats today, we will try our best. But at the moment, I'm not going to fight right now. I need to I need to upgrade my weapons, maybe get some armor. Uh, the wiki said that the armor had different stats, but I'm not seeing stats pop up when I look at the armor. So I don't know if it's just, you know, something I don't know about or, or what. But I think I should make some higher tier armor and just see if we're a little stronger because of it. At the moment, we are wearing the easiest to make armor, straight up. 
There's armor that requires copper and stuff, so I'm assuming that's going to be a bit stronger for us. The giant crab's chilling over there. But we're just going to scoop our stuff first. The dragon drops work sometimes. Hi, Jorn. How you doing? Oopsie. Run, 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 run. Perfect. Wraith attack soon, of course. That's fine. We're gonna we're gonna teleport just like right home after this, so we'll be good. There we go. And we're gonna I think are we gonna need more elderberries or did we have enough to run it again? Because we obviously lost three elderberries off of summoning this one and losing to it. I'm also curious if the enemies are still going to be floating around or if they disappear after you fail. We got to be careful. We're definitely going to upgrade the mirror. I probably should have searched for a soul before we left. Because it could have been out here. Oh no! What's shooting at me? something nearby our dead body should be against the rock over here so yeah the enemies did despawn good and then on our run back i think we're gonna lay a flower path oh no it's still rocking okay we're gonna try it again chat is that what's going on oh god nope it's still rocking is what we died to yesterday as you can tell let's try it let's try it we can do this it seems like it kept our progress so we're actually really close i might just play like a dodge game instead of trying to fight it's like sucking my soul or something what the hell was that quit sucking me giant crab's here to help did it kill everybody the giant crab killed everybody never mind mission success chat Okay, we got one more to go. I gotta grab all of my stuff. Did I get everything? Is that all I had on me? Really? I guess it was, because it's not showing up on the ground anymore. Cool. All right, we got one more of these to do, but I'm still gonna upgrade my mirror before we go and do that and get some armor. Some flint, and then we got another Vidya piece. Awesome. I need some water. Let's drink. Can you dodge? Double space dodge, yeah. But it's got a pretty high cooldown. And you don't really know where you're going to end up. So it can be quite dangerous. Alright, we're going to hit a flower path. Because I think we're going to run... Yeah, so that's the last one over there. All the way over there is the last one we need to take out for the salt flats. Oh god. But I want to make a... a oh, don't... What have I shoot at me? Where is it? Is it down there? We should take that thing out. Because one of these times, it's going to actually hit us. And we're going to be screwed. There we go. Okay, flower path. Let's go. I wonder if bringing wood and just putting down actual bridges would be the way to go or not. These root trees are great and all, but... We could also grab the TP up here now, but I want to save my acorns, I think. <laughs> there we go. Maybe I need an upgraded mirror to break this one. Not really sure.
You can use Flower Pass as many times as you want, but it doesn't remember it on Relog. So unless you plan on taking the same route multiple times in one session, there's really no point in doing a Flower Pass. But today we're definitely going to probably take this a couple of times, so... Oh, that's not good. We're good. We caught the edge. Chad, there's a playlist link down below so you're not lost on the series so far. Definitely would go check it out if you haven't already. Okay, so we got a little bit of a flower path. Pull up our water portal. Did we have food? We did. We had festival cakes on us. Hell yeah. Okay, we're filled up. Let's get to the TP. Let's run home. And then let's ask it where an arcane soul is. Because we need a couple of arcane points. In order to do the upgraded mirror. And I'll also figure out what we need for some upgraded armor. It can't be that bad. I think we need like ancestral lilies for one thing. Which I don't think I've found yet. But I haven't really been looking for. So... I keep an eye out for ancestral lily plants or seeds or anything like that. We have another fragment for Vidya. Hello, Vidya. There you go. Stop talking to the sigil and talk to Vidya, please. Can he, like, move? He's too close to the sigil and it won't let me talk to him. There we go. Return to the Sandy Shard. Uh, yes, the Great Islands held powerful magics. Hey, Frago. Remember some of how they lived and traveled. That's it? That's all you got for me? Traveling the Salt Flats. The mages of the islands had access to powerful magics. How to travel the salt flats. Huh. While well, travel by boat was possible, at least while Sturge was calm. Yeah, because there was a lake there, right? Mages preferred to use sigil gates at their lighthouses. Okay, yeah, but we already know about the sigil gates at the lighthouses. Perhaps they could still be used and repaired. Yeah, no sh shiitake mushrooms, Vidya. We already know that. Okay, wow, thanks, man. That was the most useless Vidya fragment I've ever had, ever. It's still nighttime, so we should do this first. We can make our armor during the day. Arcane reveal. We'll just have it reveal two of them. I bet one of them's in the salt flats. One's in the salt flats and one's right by my TP. Is that my base? That is my base. There's one like right over here. Let's go get that one. Let's go get that one real quick. It depends on if it gives our gives us one or two because I have one arcane point right now and I need three. So hopefully this guy gives us two. There's one in the salt flats that we can hit if need be. Go, go, go. What the? How slow you climb without the vines. Insane. I think I've been up here once before, but maybe not at night. The ghosts only appear at night. How much farther? Oh, we're running to the wrong one. This one's to the left. Okay, that's fine. We're up top. Be able to get down pretty easily. You think it's pronounced vid here? Uh, wow. Pretty similar. Doesn't really matter. And believe it or not, mispronouncing things, people uh, will comment things about how it's mispronounced. Thus increasing chat interaction and thus increasing the amount of comments a YouTube video gets. 
So I actually uh, benefit from saying things completely incorrect. Imagine that. People won't like or comment for free to help the algorithm, but they'll tell me how to say something correctly. Cool XD. Welcome to my life. Is he still going to be there, or did it just turn daytime and I'm not going to see him? Wraith attack incoming? Well, it's going to have to wait, because... I need to talk to this arcane guy. He just disappeared. Like, just now disappeared. That's so annoying. We have to wait for nighttime again. Alright, we'll get our armor going then. I could have got here so much quicker. My base is like right there. I just went a long way. timing really was we'll go home and make our armor it's fine it'll be nighttime in no time the days move pretty quick in this game here we go and to here and teleport And now armor. Let's just make the best armor we can possibly make right now. We're currently wearing the garden stuff. So like glass and copper for the librarian glasses. See any moon glory flower. Don't have that. Don't have moon glory. Have copper. We have some knotwood. We have some lilies. Fisher hat is just straight knot wood. That might be the way to go. A full Fisher outfit. I have found some knot wood. Put it away somewhere. Only three so far. Oof. Okay. some ancestral lily flowers some copper I could go with the librarian glasses maybe I'm gonna go with the fisher shirt the fisher hat we weren't even wearing a hat before look at that Drippy. Straight up dripping, my guy. Is there another cloak we could get that's not completely and ridiculously ugly? A grassy cloak. Nope. I guess we're having the flower cloak for now. Alright, so we'll grab some knotwood next time we're out. We just need to dig around those boats and things. I can't make a preservation container yet. I haven't found salt. Rock salt. And this is why we don't backseat game chat. You don't know nothing about me. Wait. When did we... We had an arcane scroll on our person. Wait, this might actually do exactly what we need. Ornate sigils. Craft an individual sigil stone. Upgraded mirror or bottle. We need one more point. Never mind. Fine carving. So this is the armor. Unlocks additional trinket recipes using 
rare minerals. The problem with that... Is that... We need the, the, the water trinket in order to even survive in the salt land. So we're kind of locked until nighttime. Let's work on our base. That'll give us some anti-poison. Let's keep digging, chat. Did I have any things I had to plant still? I think, no, I already planted the ancient oak tree. Can I put him over here? Is he, no, so he's still sickly, but I think we determined that all ancient stuff is sickly. So. I'd like this rock to be in our river, but I'm not sure if that's going to be a possibility. Start on the other side of the rock. Start moving this over. Maybe I should, I should go look for some more uh, umbrellas, huh? No capes. Mm, gonna move this guy. We could probably jut this out. So we might as well just have this on the edge of our growing space, right? So it's brown right there, so we'll just put this on the edge of our growing space. This tree really expanded our growing space back this way. We can kind of just keep moving this with that. There we go. Use the rocks as our friends. I'm going to try reviving one of these trees, maybe, because I think I can make the thing that revives them now, yeah? Right, because you need a life spark. And what did we need for a life spark again? I was talking to this guy for life sparks. Create a life spark, an acorn. Do we do that instead of a teleporter? Screw it. I want to see what it's like. Life spark. Um, let's revive this guy. What is he? A sunburst rab. We have a couple of those already. And boop. Apply a poultice to the plant's injury, gradually storing at 40 HP. I don't need to do that, though. He looks pretty happy where he is. There we go. We got a little sunburst tree, and we can move him now, too. Maybe move them to our new little area over here. So we have another tree, maybe by the wall here. We can try to get some of this sand to stop being so sandy. Right? That should help with the soil over here a little bit. There it is. It's already turning brown. Look at that. That's going to get rid of the sand over there. And then we need something over here. Some type of tree. Let's do a normal, a normal ass tree. Another big old oak tree right here. Maybe we do a little... Pick this up. Move it right here. Pick this up. Move that right here. Mm, we do like a very small river offshoot this way. We're trying to blow daylight chat. I don't think this will go any deeper. It's as deep as it gets. This is where I need to like level the inside of this more so it just like the water actually pushes out. 
Might be because of the plants nearby, to be honest. These guys right here won't move. I can't pick them up after they've grown. Which kind of screws me over. I do have to do something with a full-blown sunburst tree. Yeah, that's just not my hyper-focus right now. Let's move this dune grass right here and see if this browns it up. Eh, let's just fill this back in. Maybe what we'll do is there's a, so there's another water source up the hill from here. Maybe we bring the water source in on this side. Put a waterfall or something out of it. There you go. That water will be bugged until we just scoop more, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Because there's a water source right here and right here and right here. And we've already revived this one, but shoveling that far will be pretty strenuous. How close is this one, though? Let's see if we can upgrade these walls more. This whole side is so dangerous, man. During the day. It's crazy. Oh, this is like right up the hill, huh? We could probably get this water to our house real easy. Hmm. Let's look at this. It's right here. All it takes is a couple sandstone and it's going to pool up right there and probably just start going. We just got to encourage it to get into our house. I think we could do that at some point. It would be cool if the hat reduced their strain, but I mean, that's what the umbrella does, right? I just, I don't even think clothing has stats yet, unfortunately. We can also change the color of it if we feel like it. But yeah, I'm not seeing any stats on clothing yet, even though the wiki does say that they have stats. It's a bit odd, but... There we go. We got this all brown over here. Nice. Okay. We have so much extra growing space now. We have a little bit extra armor. We just need to run straight this way to get our arcane stat points real quick. Make that new mirror and take on the final fight before the large boss fight. is a shame. I wonder if it's intended or if it just isn't something they added yet or if it's not working. I don't know. I'm just going to go to the top of this tower right here, get our arcane points. May make well stones yet? I don't think so. You make those from your tree, don't you? Your main tree. Assuming we would just need skill point increases for that. Okay. Now we're here during the night. This ghost should be here, and if he's not, he'll be here momentarily. I just gotta wait a second. Yeah, let's look at everything here. So yeah, these are the secrets then. Essences per day. Oak or Sky Tree treats cultivators grown, win exposure. So these are all the bonuses we get from reading all those scrolls, it seems like. Just random little minor bonuses if we read all of them. I see. Okay. And we'll just read them as we find them, right? Yeah, there we go. Enchant wellstones at any major spring. 
which can be placed to create new water sources. We would need more spiritual, but right now we're trying to get arcane. We might just get more spiritual points from freeing Sturge, the uh, the goddess of wind and water. So there he is. Hello. Tell me about your your stuff and and things. Thank you. Okay, there we go. So now we got enough arcane points to upgrade mirror and bottle. Boom. So now we're going to run home. I guess it is worth just using the flower path all the time because you get a speed boost even if it's not placed, right? I don't feel like running. It's only four points. We're going to have a bunch because nighttime just swaying around. There we go. This drop stuff? Glow stick stalks. Huh, it's the first time I've had a drop stuff. How's this guy doing? See, they don't get water all the way back here. going to have to increase our water flow a little bit in order to get it back there. It is. I read them, John. There we go. So now we have an Arc Amber Bottle. Protective enchantment to improve your bottle's water capacity. Ugh. We have Amber, and we just need a little bit more of that. That's huge. Okay. So we have that now, and then a new crystal mirror. Copper, old copper. So we need rock crystal and copper. I have that. Okay, so upgraded mirror. Boop. Nice. And then amber bottle. We need amber and one plant fiber. I think amber is... I had one piece somewhere. There's jade. Maybe in the last box? Have it on me? I mean, it's the first one. I think I'm just having a hard time getting to this one. In the back there. No? Chat, I could have sworn we had a piece of amber. There. It's in this box. It's just not opening because the one next to it's too close. And then one plant fiber. There should be something dead around here that we can break up here. It gave me only wood. Probably ate it. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't put it past me. And there we go. Now we have an amber bottle. It holds 125. That is so much nicer. Okay. Huge upgrades there. Now, the moment of truth, chat. We have three poultices. We have two poison infusions. We have plenty of keys to open stuff. We can throw some stuff in the bin real quick. Keep the acorns on us for TPs. We don't really have much in terms of food right now. Did our cactuses grow fruit at all? Let's check. Any cactus fruit from you little foogers? No. Nothing. Okay. I guess we're just going to have to eat the festival cake and figure it out from there. Let's take the TP right here. Upgrade the walls around my stores. The wind doesn't really blow in from the coast. Or the wind only blows in from the coast. It never blows in the opposite direction. So we don't really need upgrades over there. So I'm assuming the new upgraded crystal mirror just does more damage. Essentially. And uh, looks like we are actually out of elderberries. So we're going to have to look for a few more. Either they expired or I put them away. I don't know. Or we used them all. That could be very much a chance too.
There we go. I think we're gonna shoot off to the right. It might be quicker. I gotta mute my Discord chat. There we go. Group bridge. Sing to the cactus fruit? That just increases its growth. I don't think it'll make it spawn a fruit. Maybe it will? I don't know. Not really worth finding out right now. But we do need elderberries. That's why I decided to go this way. I believe these will have knotwood for more of our armor. Oh, can't get underneath there. Oh, well. We just got to look for some elderberry bushes in these trees here. I see some right over there. There's some down low, too. We need three of them to summon the conch. Here's one. Mist berries, not elderberries. Oh, well, same thing. Same difference. I can't climb this. Go, 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 go. Come on. Really? I'd like to shovel right there. I don't think it's going to let me. Mist berry. Oh, our first shell. I haven't found a shell yet. You'd think we'd find a few more here, huh? And then root bridge. And then shovel here. Nice. Okay, we have enough mist berries for sure now. Might be worth probably scooping one of these up, taking it home and reviving it. Let's do that. Oopsie, didn't mean to pour, meant to drink. Oh. Cause once we learn some new uh cooking recipes and things, we're probably gonna want more mist berries. Alright, fighting time. I haven't found any salt. I haven't really been digging like that much, though. Ooh, a little health pot there. Some more mist berries. Lovely. Alright. Whoopsie. Let's try our new crystal out. Okay, it doesn't one-shot those things, but it was definitely doing more damage. I'm hoping it one-shots these bigger guys. That we're about to summon with the magical conch. We're gonna have to find out. Okay, yeah, I can kill the bigger ones in three shots now. No, nah, it's still four shots. It's just a smidge. What about these little guys, though? Doesn't even one-shot the little guys yet, either. Okay. Oh, well, it was kind of a waste, then. Doesn't really feel that much stronger. Maybe it's stunning them out of their attacks? I don't know. I think it's exactly the same. Let's 
dude's like high ground, dude. 80? Or 20? 20 is better than 80. Crabbo, help me. All right, Crabbo's here. Everything dies. Still a zappy boy out there, though. Nice. Okay. Trying to tarnish talisman again. Hi, Krabby. Nice of you to show up, dude. All right. The Temple of Surge appears to be accessible. Enter it and restore the power. Here we go, chat. It's 4 a.m. It's about to be daytime, but it's right there. Let's restore Surge's power, shall we? Push Q. Oh, I didn't see that. Q. So wait, what does that do? A blinding flash. I can hold it. Whoa. Okay. I'll keep that in mind for the next one. I didn't even notice that. So the upgrade just gave me another power on it. I see. Ooh. There's a ghost down there. We should we should go get that. We should go talk to the ghost. Come on, stop climbing the damn thing. Hello, ghosty. Since you're on the way. Thank you. Nice. We got some survival memories. We can use those points later. See what we need from them. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We're going to be cutting this close with daytime. Daytime's no fun out here. Do I have to climb this? We have enough for one more drink. There you go. That's a good root bridge. The ones I don't have to climb up are perfect. Moon's going down. Officially daytime. I do think I just need to climb it, so... like a good flat surface to lay some vines on. Alright, they're not going up any higher, so we're gonna be really slow climbing this then. Uh, eat you. And then drink you. I'm assuming there's gonna be water up here once we revive them. Unless we need like certain items to revive them. I don't know, we'll see. Ah, uh, yeah. Nope. <gasps> you can throw more as you climb? Oh, you can. I didn't know we could throw and climb at the same time. Good shout. sweaty, knees weak, mom's spaghetti. We're almost there, chat. We're gonna revive Sturge, the goddess of storms and wind. I can hear the wind already. Here's her temple. Uh-oh. Can we not get in there? Enter the temple of the storm goddess Sturge. There's no water up here, chat. I don't have an umbrella to get down, chat. This is terrible, chat. I may have overstepped myself. Temple of Sturge, what are you doing here? I'm here to help you, Sturge. He's a giant bird. Restore Sturge's altar, pray. Ugh. I will not fall for prayers again. Ow! 
I need to help him kill these guys, I'm assuming. We need to interact with this altar. Maybe we need certain items. Binding flash of Booba Doom. Mm, goodbye. I killed him with that. Nope. Die, please. Restore. We need to pray this one. <laughs> pray. There we go. Don't. Yeah, see? Don't strike me with lightning. I think we're actually good up here. We're not losing too much food and water in this area. Okay, so now the next circle just went down. Cool. Okay. So we just got to do each one of these. Just got to do each one of these. Yeah, Sturge doesn't like me. Sturge didn't want me to even be a thing. I remember that. Naya said it. And blinding flash. Boom. I'm not even going to full charge that. I'm just going to hit it every once in a while. Just to stun them out. Of their attacks. Oh, God. I kill the fire ones first. They do the most damage. What? Is Sturge lightning striking me in the middle of all this? That fucking asshole. Yeah, he is. I need to hit a heal. If I die, I swear to God. I gotta back off, back off. Don't let it strike me after. Hit V for apply the poultice. There we go. We healed last second. A charge scroll. Okay. Now we need to do a couple more. I have some poison. I'm gonna drink this. Also gives us some water, so that's nice. What is a fool creating you in their image? He really doesn't like me. All right, one more little fight. This one's going to be absolutely horrible. Watch. Big guy, then fire guy. We're good. Big guy's dead. One more little guy. We're good. All right, Sturge, chill, dog. I have no more water left. What happened to my water? Oh, God. That's fine. No water. Let's just tank it. Restore. Maybe she'll give us some water. <sighs> Boom. I can't hold the storm. It refilled our water right there. Is that a Titan crab still alive? Yeah, he's been helping me the whole time, dude. You don't you haven't heard him running around? In the race they flood? Yeah. You're welcome. Perhaps I can still find some use for you? Wow, thanks. Appreciate it. Maybe it'll turn out. Maybe you'll turn out just like those monsters someday. But for now, I'm useful, okay? Perhaps you can solve one problem. That's that's the plan. I am a problem solver. This game cross-platform. I don't know, but I know it's on consoles. I will want the race to pay for what they've done. Destroy the wraiths. Okay, so now we have a Sturge quest. A hundred years of decay and a hundred more hiding from what they've done. But what is he going to give me for a power-up? You will end them. Okay. Can do, buddy. The race cannot truly be killed until you destroy Selen, the so-called Grand Mage. Oh, God. He lives at top of Mount Doom, I assume. Take from him the only thing he still holds on to. What? Here, have something that can help. If only it were a weapon. 
I have a magical mirror. Whatever works. Sturge's blessing. What did that do for us? The blessing of Sturge got us storm skies and magic. Okay. He wishes to speak with me again. Here we go. Oh, gotta retrieve it still. Is it a cloak? Take this cloak. It is of no use to me. Where? I will allow you to sail my winds and to sign the island safely. I won't need to use a mushroom anymore? It will use your mana. Don't be foolish with this. Mana? The purple stuff? Is purple stuff mana? Activate Windwalk. Whoa. Deactivate Windwalk. Oh, we have like a middle purple bar. That's our mana. Okay. I've never noticed that like going down though, huh? Does it go down when we use like Binding Flash? It does. Okay. Let's get some... Did, did, did he pop up any water around him? I don't think so. There is a TP here. We should 100% repair this. Alright, we have a TP to him now. Perfect. Follow the meteors and find the wraith crystal. So we need to kill more crystals to take on a giant wizard. That seems to be the goal. He says he has more quests for me. What happened to Gleb, Oros, replanting the seeds? The race made the island uninhabitable. I saw that. It's horrible. But I see Naya has tending a garden, of course. Yes, my garden is looking rather nice. But, like, what about these guys? Yeah, see, these are all dead. Oh, no, it's still rocking. It's a marsh tree. I certainly hope all our benevolent and loving accommodating river goddess doesn't mind some competition. The witchwood tree was tended by my, by the mages of the island here. There was water over there. Okay. A full grown witchwood with the right magic should allow you to build your own marshes. Which they won't rival my great estuaries, they will rival your dunes and meadows. I think I put a witchwood tree down. I just gotta wait for it to grow, yeah? Niles fragile little cultivations won't have a chance. This guy's a salty little gremlin. Acquired marsh mothers. Fully grow a witchwood tree and use a combination of magic and nature to create a marsh mother. Okay, good to know. And then powers of wind. The wind to be a powerful ally or a dangerous enemy. Yeah, I assume. I can help you sail the winds. Yep. Bring me a feather from these wastes and I will show you. I do have a feather. Follow the birds. Those are lucky enough to survive all these years. Yeah, the birds are still floating around. I saw that. Craft a shining feather. Oh, we don't have any on us. Uh, okay. We have a spiritual scroll. Let's read that. The charred scroll gives us minus 30 purple stuff? Sure. Why not? Got plenty of that. Burn bright. Okay, so... Should we probably just take out... Actually, we don't have any more mist berries on us, do we? We have three. We can do one more. Maybe we'll find more mist berries. Or is that all the way over there? See, see, see those meteors shooting over there? What are those shooting at? Is that where the boss is? Altar of Arcs? 
Who the hell is... What the? Is that the boss? Which way are we looking? We're looking towards this. That's completely uncovered. So I'm just going to assume... That the boss is this one. All of those meteor showers, yeah? Like deep, deep in the marsh. Or the salt flats. Windwalk activated. Kind of lucked out that the next objective for uh, Sturge is literally over by our teleporter. That's rather nice. We'll get a lay of the land over there and then head back in the morning, probably. We have a lot of side quests and stuff, but if I were to focus side quests, I would never get anything done. So we're going to try to stick to mains. If we can. I want to go investigate that area. Because it's not really... Is it in the salt flats anymore? Or is it going to lead us to a whole other biome? I don't know. Let's go see. Because if it's not salt flats, we could get a new uh, ring. That'll help us. Although the reduction in food and water is still cool outside the salt flats. There's something glowing purple right there. It might be a ghosty. So I think we should go there and scoop that for some ghosty points. Some, I think purple's arcane. Hmm. Kind of wish the Cloak of Winds we could acquire. Oh, it's in the canyons. We can get witch wood over here, right? Mm, some regular wood, some regular wood, plant fibers. Need regular wood for our walls anyway, so. Useful nonetheless. Another runic key, some more purple berries. So, our mist berries. So I don't think we need mist berries, because if that's sending us to the canyons, it's going to be some other special way to take out the, uh, the evil doers, the wraiths. <clears throat> Another chest, two ancient chests on this boat. Another runic key, even more mist berries. Ugh. Oh god, wait a second. Ugh. Hello. This is arcane, right? That's a nice little find. Get us stronger and stronger. Yeah, we're going to hit the next heal when we're home, unless there's the dry feather we needed. We got another arcane scroll off of one of those chests, too. We are popping off on the arcane department. Oh, so all three of those. So are we not able to take on the wizard until... Because he pointed at the hills. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe we don't... We don't do Sturge's quest. We go do the canyon quest. We go help... Uh, not Glebe. What's his name? Some more acorns too. I'd like to get a teleporter out in the uh, out in the canyons if we can. Ancient witchwood tree. These have durability? 
These are flowers? I haven't planted one of those yet. Wild glow stealth stock. We need like all of our inventory right now, unfortunately. Touching it too long leaves your fingers numb. So would this takes 25 or gives us 25? We have one acorn on us. We'll be fine for now. Gleb of Canyons and Sturge had quests on orcas? What? Gleb is the canyons guy, yes. The orcas thing? I don't have a friggin' clue what you're talking about. So many mist berries over here. Mm, so our teleporter is right there. So we made this whole run back when we could have just TP'd. But I'm just investigating a bit, I guess, so. I can increase my inventory more with a ring, but currently we're using the salt flats ring. Because we're in the salt flats. It put poison and essence, gotcha. We just hit a poultice after it. We gotta plant some mist berries. I think we might have a full wormwood tree soon. That'll help Sturge. But we have the feather, so I'm gonna just teleport back with the feather, complete that quest real quick, see what he gives us for it. The chat, just another reminder to hit that sub button. Like on the live stream helps tremendously. A comment afterwards helps as well, if you could. Thanks for stopping in today. We're going to be going for like a whole nother hour. And then we're going to be swapping over to Twitch where we're doing Survival Sunday. We're going to be watching the new ARC trailer, checking out a bunch of new survival games, and then also jumping on the community server that's available for everybody on Reign of Kings, believe it or not. So, Chat, we're being uh, rather backseaty right now. We can chill with that. Thank you. Oh, that water pouring out over there. I'm not sure that was intended. There we go. I got you a feather, dude. Improving the wind cloak. Oh, go find me pearls. I once hide valued both for magical and decorative purposes. I've seen a bunch of pearls. So that'll just increase our wind walk. Seems like. More than likely. Okay. Moon glory flowers. So these are all just side quest things. I'm not too worried about it. It's just going to improve our wind walk, but I just got it. So I don't really know what it will improve. Maybe like mana reduction or something. Um, don't believe we have enough essence to teleport back home. So this is where we would absorb one of these guys. Take a little poison and then just drink our poultice. And then teleport back home. Look at me, professional. Nice. Okay, my plants aren't growing in. Okay, thank God. Vidya, I have another fragment for you. But for some reason, you like to hang out right next to the sigil stones where I can't talk to you. Here you go, Vidya. Return the last sandy shard. What? Am I remembering? Yes, you are, brother. Whoa! Whoa! Vidya Shara, why would you come here a moment? Would you come here a moment? Says Selen? Who's Selen? Yes, Eminus Selen. What is it you need? What do you know of the storage of magical energies? Storage is a rare property. I know of crystallized essence. 
However, mana always requires a living spirit to channel. Maybe it's a way to increase our mana. Hmm. That does align with what I've gathered from Sturge. Thank you. That is all for now. Okay. What does that do for me, though? Oh, look, he's, like, taller. I'm, like, rebuilding all of them. I just noticed that. Need to find Oros. Might as well talk to him about Oros while we run around. What do we need to help the tree? Heal the tree. We just need another life spark. Where's our river sprite? Some say we've always been there. Some waiting for the mountains to form beneath. And then, boop, heal our tree. What's it going to look like now? Do you live there? Food is difficult to procure. Hey, look, it's all blue and glowy now. Are we going to get more grass? The cold mountains will make days safer than the nights for exploration. Yeah, I already knew about that. Our cactuses grew some food. You'll need to keep your energy if you wish to find them. Okay. I'm going to use my wood to upgrade you. Where was that wormwood tree? Is this the wormwood right here? That's an ancient oak. The wormwood was the, this guy over here, maybe? Which wood? This is the one that needs to be fully grown. It's at 95%, so let's sing for growth. I guess we can make this into like a marsh tree or something. now, apparently. Ancient lantern tree. Still curious about what the heck's going on there. Bag's full. Yup. These guys need water. Water. And can we get the water pumping out of this guy a little bit more? Really get it cranking. And we were able to do something with these guys when they're fully grown. Sunburst, create a meadow mother. We need a sunburst seed and another acorn. God, these acorns. Huh? Did our oak tree drop any acorns? Not sure it did yet. Where's our frog? Our frog might have a couple of acorns in his tumness. Hello, frog. Mm, no, you do have one of these, though. Okay. Thank you, brother. I'm gonna just let you hold on to the talisman then. I'm gonna grab that. So we need an acorn. Another one. As per usual. To do that special tree. Raise a mature mistberry bush. Where'd that end up? The mistberry bush finished? Where did I plant those? Oh, I have a dead one on my back too. But we need a life spark, which is an acorn to revive this thing, so I can't really do that right now. There it is. There's our mist berry bush. Grab an ancient mist berry off of it. Cool. Horn tail paws. There's a bunch of stuff. Frogo, get to work, dude. We need you to pick some stuff up for me. There's so much to do in this game. Absolutely insane for the price point, IMO. We haven't even been to the canyons yet. So we don't have, like, canyon plants or anything in our base. All right. That's about what we wanted to do. Food and water is good. Let's store some crap, because we are very much full. Oh, there's another mistberry? Oh yeah, we planted a bunch of mistberries over here. I forgot about that. They grew by the time we were already done with the salt flats. A feather bracelet. 
Increases speed and reduces mana while floating with a cloak of the winds. Might come in handy in the in the next biome, but we'll have to see. But this is only resistance against salt flats, so we really don't need to wear it anymore. Where's my wooden bracelet? I want that back. We need to plant one of these, too. I don't even know what this is. A fallen star flower. It looks rather large, so it's going to need its own little zone. Have we formed any new zones recently? I think over here is kind of relatively a new zone. It says too crowded, but I don't give a shit. A spindlewood tree out of that, huh? Okay. I see. Is the witchwood full now? 111% growth, so it's 29 hours, but it's it's growing. What the hell? Uh. Is this my first sandstorm? Is that gonna like come? Is that gonna like reach me? We don't have an acorn for it, Slimzy. But we will hopefully soon enough. Yeah, that's that's coming for me. What's that going to do to my house? Oh, God. It's all good. Don't worry. Button down the hatches. I think we're good. I think we're good. We have arcane. Unlocks ancient recipes for food and medicine. The method of tap power hidden in the common seeds to create powerful seed grenades. Craft additional sigil stones. Upgrades to defend and grow your oasis. Enable more complex magic on your person and equip the second trinket. A second trinket would be nice. But also better food and me medicine would also be really nice. We have three spiritual and trant well stones at a major spring which can be placed to create new water sources. Definitely doing that. Survive your d first dust storm. Easy enough. And then we have four survival. I think I need this construction. Allows you to block and reflect attacks with your upgraded sickle. The shield can be held longer, provide lingering damage resistances. Craft sharper tools. Unlocks additional trinket recipes using rare materials. Yeah, let's do that one. Because we're trying to replace our trinket right now. I don't need to do inventory room. Inventory room is kind of a... Kind of a cop out. I could just be good at it. Like, good at not filling up my inventory. We can craft these cakes now. We need honey. Never seen that before. And then lantern fruit. We're growing a tree that grows that. Lessens the heat of the sun. And a copper ring. Holder takes. Cuts damage by one third, but breaks after taking 50 damage. That's not worth it. And then a bead bracelet. A lot of wear to skate up sand dunes. I think I'm going to go with the sun. The sun's dumb annoying. Remove. And where's the sun ring? Didn't I just make it? Maybe I canceled it too quick. There we go. Boom. So now we take a little bit less from the sun. If we end up back in the salt flats, we'll keep the ring on us. Go right here. Throw you in there. What else can we stack in here? Not ice. Not that. Yep. Already made one. Well, they have durability, so... I'm just blind. We're going to keep those on us. These are good food and water. Keep those on us. Keep that on us. I see a shining feather. That's for a quest later. I don't have a wild one of these, so. Let's plant that, shall we? Right there looks nice. Another spell power acquired. 
for the wild plantings. Yeah, no new clothing, unfortunately. Made corn. Nice. Okay. So now we can do... Should I just do this guy? Into a meadow mother? I just put the sunburst seed away. There we go. Or do we do the middle one of the metal mother? I'm going to do the middle one of the metal mother. Unless this... No, you said this creates green space? Maybe I don't want to do it there. Maybe I'll want to do it like... I don't know. What is this? Does this make it so like everywhere? I mean, I could just move it, right? Let's make this one into a meadow mother. What does it do? Boom. Sing for growth. Harvest in three hours. Harvest yield 110%. An impressive display. Looks like your changes are brought. Your connection. <gasps> Look at the green. Yes. Look how much larger our little farm got off of that. Yes. We have grass now. Chat. And I can push these out. Like this. So we have so much more room for activities now. We're definitely going to need all of our walls upgraded, so we need to start gathering a little bit of wood. Got a lot of greenery. We need to get water this way. Right? Because, like, all these things over here don't have water. Did we do the wellstone thing? I don't think we did. Maybe we just wrap it around this rock or something. Maybe we can put it past this thorn guy. Let's pick this up. And let's place him... Just right at the tip of the water here. And then scoop this guy. Just gonna put him over here. I'm gonna see if I can't get some water running this way for all these guys. It's very dark because of that sandstorm, I think. Make new wellstones. I can still upgrade my current wellstone, so I don't really want to make one yet. I'm just going to utilize what I got until I need more. You know what I'm saying? I can almost see... I can see the moist ground, actually. You see all that? Was I not able to see that before without the grass? I'm unsure. But you can see, like, the moisture of the ground now. Like, this guy's not in the moisture, so we're going to move him over. There we go. Just a little offshoot. Just a little offshoot. And then this guy, I, it looks like he's in the moisture now, but it looks like these guys are not. So maybe we move this guy... Uh, yeah, see all the blue area now? Okay. It's a little bit more obvious with the grass coloration. i put you right there. Move this guy over. Let's just do another offshoot right here real quick.
Yeah, all it takes is these very small little offshoots to get fertilization to these other other crops. So, so now that water pretty much covers this whole area here. When I pick something up, I can see it so much better when I go to place it. There you go. See? There should be maybe a button, kind of like in City Skylines, where you look at, like, population density. You just press a button, and then when you're running around, you see it. So you can, like, optimize a little better. So, like, we could probably use an offshoot, like, this way, maybe. Because, like, there's a lot of greenery out here. We could create some more space. Another little offshoot over here. Make some more room for some, some new plants instead of crowding everything around the circle that we've created. There we go. So now if we pick up this little plant, we'll use him as our... There we go. Look at all this more fertile area now. And that should help this guy produce more seeds. I'm going to sing to him because I do want more acorns coming out of him. Okay, so wait. Doing the Meadow Mothers turned all of the... I see. It turned all of these into not meadow mothers but it seems like they they pass on the greenery just like a meadow mother does so we gotta bump this out more but this is the this is the bad side we're gonna need more reinforced walls to bump this out look at that glowing blue tree we got meadow mothers we got so we got a whole meadow going another acorn right there so what should we use the acorn on hmm do we plant another acorn no because we have another oak tree coming in right here that should be good we could use it for a teleporter, probably. That might be our best idea. Might be. We want to sing for growth on this guy, though, for sure. Because I don't... I haven't really... This is my first lantern tree, so I don't really know what to anticipate. Um, but we should upgrade these sigils, too, just in case another sandstorm comes through, because we took a lot of damage to our plants during that. Do we have sandstone laying around? Got a little bit. So this sigil here, sun sigil... Oh, it's copper. That's what we need. There we go. Go to our sigil... A little sun sigil. There we go. That'll protect against the next coming sandstorms and things. We don't have enough essence. We have essence sitting in the other sigil, though. I have one over here. Yes, sir. There it is. Hit this one into a sun sigil. There we go. And we have enough to also hit this one, I think. Yep. Boom. Okay, so now we have protection against the sandstorms. Generally speaking, you see the purple circle. Purple circle does all that. This is within the purple circle, so I think I'm going to move this. Into... Like, right here, maybe? Cover a little more ground, right? And I'm going to move these mist berries... Over to this new little fertile corner here. I don't like I'm having so close to my storage. That was my first sandstorm ever. 
so. But I just don't want it to kill my plants. some water too. We'll just work it around that rock. This guy. Mist berries are probably going to be one of our sources of food now too. There we go. Okay. A little less crowded by the door now. I still don't have one of these sand trees. Should we go see if he's over at his den? Do we have a cookie on us? We do. Let's go see if the sand shrew's at the den. You can't demolish the boulder. The boulder is there. Boulder is love, boulder is life. Maybe with the seed grenades, but I would be scared to throw one in my base. We're like not even losing water in the normal desert anymore due to the ring. I think having a lot of big trees on the windward side helps protect your oasis also. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it, but I also don't want the trees to get killed. You know what I mean? So we got to be a little more cautious. The trees take the longest to grow. There he is, Sandshrew boy. Hello. Pangolin, tame. Search the dunes for minerals. So I could actually send him out to look for stuff for us behind a trickster pangolin. Run home, Penguin. I have a home for him already, so he should be chilling. Um, let's look for some wood. I want to upgrade my walls. Let's just do a little bit of base stuff. We'll, we'll run into the canyons next time. The trees heal in between. Gotcha. Are the metal deposits? We, the thing is, we don't, like, need... ...that much copper and stuff. Like, yet at least. If the armor was a bit more intuitive and we actually got bonuses from them, then sure. But right now the armor is strictly cosmetic. I'm saving my survival points. For some weapon upgrades, right? Wasn't I doing that? I know I already used them. Okay. I'm still curious if we could transport those trees back from Naya's. How many sticks do we have? One? Okay. I'm going to go into the oak forest over here real quick. Maybe we'll find some acorns, but I definitely need more sticks. We could just chop down one of the oak trees, too plenty of them to go around. If my tool will let me do that, we might have to upgrade for it. No, we can definitely break it. That's pretty good. What about these guys? The sunburst rows. These easier to break down and give the same amount? Nope, he's about half. They're quick to break down, though. There's a no health bar on this. There we go. Alright, just a few more trees. Acorn. <sighs> what should we do with that acorn? We could revive the... Uh... I brought a mistberry plant back. We don't need to revive that. I forgot I planted so many of them. Maybe we just save the acorn for a teleporter in the canyons. Probably.
There we go. All right, got lots of sticks, lots of fibers. Good for upgrading. And then Lost City, the race have more outposts, the Timeless Mountains. Naya's idea. Why don't I have the Oros quest? I don't want to do either of these yet. I want to go into the canyons. I think I need to talk to Naya about them. If I'm not mistaken. We'll do that next time, though, like I said. All right, let's scoot home. Let's upgrade these walls. Try to get a little bit more protection around our base. Since these storms are going to be a bit more common. Can we pick these up out here? I don't think you can pick up the cactuses. I think you have to straight up plant them. No. There we go. Trying to get this outer wind wall up. I'm going to start fanning it out a little bit, maybe. Oh, this thing's really, really no bueno. Wow, those take a lot to repair. Very damaged. I'm gonna probably pump our river out this way a little bit more too. I'm trying to just utilize as much of the meadow as I have while I have it, you know. Oh no, stop, stop. this guy. Doing grass seed. There we go. Okay, let's repair some of these. I wish there was just a hammer for repairing, because this whole animation, like, clicking over and over, is going to get very old when repairing these. Yeah, when it's fully repaired, you have options to change the way they look. I saw that. Out of wood. Look at how many freaking things are rolling over here. Insane. We can tell our sand shrew to go grab stuff. We should probably do that. Hello, buddy. Pangolin, go search. Oh, we have to make him a treat for it? Gotcha. So what I'm thinking is we don't really need walls. What the hell? That just jumped my wall. We don't really need walls on the other sides. We really just need them over here. So maybe I'll just take the stone walls that I currently have and just start stacking them here. It does seem like they like roll around them right into our freaking base. So we need to, like, almost edge them out? I don't really know. It is getting worse, though. It's increasingly becoming a problem.
Hmm. Maybe if we bring the wall... Like, up. It'll force them down. You know what I mean? Essentially. I mean, these aren't the better walls. We're going to need a lot more wood. So this will at least block... Yeah, see? It'll at least block those and the roly-polies. That roly-poly just spawned here! So maybe we should just surround the whole house. Because I think they can spawn in this dirt. Maybe the rolling polies don't do that much damage compared to the uh, the winds, though. I don't know. I think as long as it generally protects the base, we should be fine. Let's dig out the river a little bit this way. Hi, Forgo. How you doing, Glebe? Yeah, we're trying to just block off the roly polies and the wind tornadoes a little bit. And I'm thinking maybe we just like wrap a little. Whoopsie. Leave my stuff alone, roly-poly. Yeah, we need these to be taller walls. We need to, like, double up on them or something. Yeah, so essentially, I'm thinking that now we just do a very small river, kind of, like, circling the, cir the larger river circle in the middle. We just do, like, a bunch of circles. The water's gonna have a hard time reaching back here. I understand that, but we'll be able to get more flow going. We could actually take that acorn we just got and get more flow. But when we pick up one of these guys and we go to place it, you can see that blue area expanding. Like, this is a very ripe spot for a tree. Maybe we'll move that guy here. That was not the right plant. Oh, we can't move the meadow oak, huh? That's fine, though. He'll get water. He should have water from this, anyway. And then we'll expand this guy this way. So we have, like, a big circle around the circle, and we have these little subsidiaries, and pretty much, like, these little islands where we have, like, really good growth. I can push out these walls more a little bit to get some growth on the outer edge if we need to as well. Maybe we get a little organized and we can move, like, similar plants to the similar spots. Like, the plants that we eat from we'll put together. The plants that, you know, the dune grass will throw it together. Loads of options. There we go. We have a lot of extra growth points for any plants that we find in the Canyonlands. Everybody over here is still thriving and striving, right? Good to go, good to go. <sighs> Gimme. So, like, these amaranths, I feel like I want to move them. Maybe just put them to, like, the, the water's edge, like, right here. 
I feel like they're a little crowded over here. Swamp Mother might compete with the Meadow Mother? I think so, yes. I think it does. Move that one a little closer to the water there. And then move this guy. Right here. So we don't have too many crowding issues. A little more spread out. Ancient mist berry right there. I like see we have a root beard fungus growing right there for no reason. That's not in the water, huh? We don't really need the dune grass anymore though, right? Because the meadow mothers are kind of the ones that are fertilizing the land now. But we'll hold on to them. They're not completely useless. We got root beard fungus enjoys being right there. Nice. Ooh, look at the glow sticks on the... On that one. On the green glow stick guy we just planted. This thing's cool. Yeah, let's sing you up. Get you to mature quicker. Got a fresh witchwood tree. Our witchwood tree is done. So this is where we could create a marsh mother if we wanted to. But something tells me... Restored land near this tree will become a marsh. We don't want to do that here, right? Necessarily. Because if they do compete, that's no bueno. <gasps> no bueno. Wraith attack soon. Another witchwood tree seed. I mean, I guess we could go plant one elsewhere and, you know, try to make it into a marsh. And maybe grow some marsh plants over there. Dust storms. So that's the first time we had a dust storm. Dust storm was rough. It was. It did slight damage to everything. But now we have sigils in place for our next dust storm. Those high winds can damage our plants. They did. I'm mad. But I seem to remember people building structures and walls to protect themselves from the winds. Yep. We did that. Also, I'd imagine some rocks get knocked loose. You know, didn't see any rocks, but if you double check the nearby quarry, I bet you'll find the resources are back. Gotcha. So it's like a resource reset. It's kind of cool. That's it. Tracking wraith crystals. We got to just take down more wraiths. We'll head into the canyons next time. Chat, thank you for hanging out with me today. I will be playing this again tomorrow, I believe, and Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday is kind of our days off now. We're going to be playing through the weekends and taking midweeks off. Thursdays are usually game releases, so it might be Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know yet. Um, but we're going to try to beat the game, try our best to. We might have to do some longer streams with it coming up if we plan on wrapping it up soon. Because we still have to go and take on the Canyons guy, the Canyons god. And then we still have to go find the god of time. And then once we do all that, then we're good to wrap up the game or whatever it, it ends up happening or doing or I don't really know. Uh, and that would just be all the main quests and not the side quests. But this game's awesome. I'm having fun playing it. We're heading over to twitch.tv slash partially royal where we're doing survival Sunday. If you guys want to hang out over there, we're going to be playing even more survival games, all recommended by you guys in the chat. So if you guys want to recommend some survival games for me to try, play, or revisit, go to twitch.tv slash partially royal right now. We'll also be reacting to the new Ark trailer that just came out for Ark Ascended. Um, and then we also will be playing on the community server, Reign of Kings. You don't have to be a member for this server. Um, you can just join up if you have Reign of Kings and play alongside me and just have a goof, a hauler, and a half. So we're going to be doing that for the rest of the afternoon. Twitch.tv slash Roll. I will see you guys over there. Have a great, wonderful rest of your day. And adios.